Hello everyone and welcome to the 37th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now, in this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me know else you'd like to see any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and ring the little bell icon to know about my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of the episode. So to get started with the first creation of the episode, we have the SRC IMV Patrol and Rescue. This seems like a off-road slash on by Scrags 101. Now, apparently in his description, he said this is his first land vehicle he's done. Uh, along with that is it's meant to have a simple electric drive with no gears and no stalling of engines. A couple features, including emergency lights, uh, work lights, med bed, Arctic gear, heaters, uh, five uh, seats, along with that, a couple other things. Things. So what we'll do is let's spawn this in, see how it works and how it drives here in the world of Stormwork. And spawning in the first creation of the episode, you can see this thing looks really cool. Um, it's got a really nice stance about it here in the front and on the sides. Um, seems like we have a roof mounted gun with some spotlights and a winch at the front. We also have some paint blocks and you can see we have a little engine head hiding inside there. Um, looking underneath there, you can see obviously we've got a full suspension kit. Um, we have some doors. Seems like we have a winch in, winch out, and a fuel connector and mags. Don't know where that's for just yet. Uh, we also have the fuel to refuel there. Uh, moving along the back, some more paint blocks, the exhaust the camera on either side, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, that's for the mirrors on either side. Okay, pretty cool. Um, some nice lights, and we also have some work lights here on the side. That's quite nice too. Um, opening up this. Okay, so this is the tailgate. Um, seems like we have some firefighting equipment, a medical bed. Let's get inside there. A medical bed with some equipment. Yeah, just some general equipment in there. Let's go and close that off. Um, seems like we have an electrical connector for towing. Um, not much on, this, on the other side. Pretty much exactly the same. Now, getting in here, opening up the door. Um, seems like we have the interior lights going at the back here. Four passenger seats. Uh, nothing else really going on. I don't know what that is for though uh minus 0 0.39 okay well, i don't know what that is for um oh we have the gunner seat okay uh with camera on and off okay oh that's the gunner at the top there so you can see the gunner that's pretty cool uh we have a spotlight and we have night vision okay very nice uh, moving on to the driver's seat we seem to have the handbrake let's turn that off uh work lights okay uh, we have winch in, winch out. Guessing that's for the front. We have spotlights. That's very bright and very unusual color also. Uh, we have headlights. Okay. And ignition. Wow. Well, okay. Starter. Okay. Uh, RPS is good. Battery is good. Temperature is good. Feels good. And this is... Okay. So this is, seems like a little throttle indicator there at the front. That's pretty nice. And we have the hood. Okay, pretty cool. Let's go and check that out. Let's use camera mode here. Uh, I'm just go to the front. Okay, so we seem to have an engine with a ton of generators, which kind of makes me think this is electrical powered. Oh, I could be wrong. Um, this is like an electrical connector over there with just a normal small engine inside it. Uh, let's go and turn that off and let's see if we can power this thing up and get going. Okay, so I could be right there with electrical being used to power this up uh, with generators charging the batteries because I can't hear the engine changing its revs at all. Um, it seems like I have an auto gearbox which is running quite well. Ooh, this thing is bouncing all over the place and I think I might have just wrecked it. Hold on, let's see if we can get out of it. Yes, electrical engine. It's perfect. Uh, this thing does bounce all over the place but it seems to handle quite well. Uh, let's go and try it off-road here and just see how it handles these little rocks here. I could just go a little bit slower. Okay, so it's handling really well. It seems to be gripping perfectly. Um, okay, manage that. Yeah, seems like it's doing really well over there. Just go and jump it off here and see how that handles. Yeah, perfectly well. Even though it's bouncing a bit, it is very stable at the same time. Um, let's see what kind of speed we can get out of it. It seems like it's going decent speed, not slow at all, but uh, obviously not a race car, but we don't expect that with it being obviously a big truck like this designed to be in off-road missions. Uh, but yeah, it seems to handle quite well. A little bit of bunny hop there on either side. Um, especially at high speeds, but uh, it seems to be pretty good. But yeah, overall, really nice creation. Nice little thing to obviously drive around the islands with and get around with. Uh, let's go and turn the ignition and start it off. Um, 
Okay, I have turned the ignition off, but it seems like the engine is still going. I'll turn the power off. Yeah, it's still going. I don't know what's up with that. Um, cool, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Type 19 Spike Missile System Radar Vehicle. This is done by two content creators. I can't pronounce their names because it looks like it's in Chinese, um, but good on them. Uh, I would love to say their names, so maybe they can leave their comments below in the video and let me know what their names are. Um, but this is meant to be the missile system for actually sending off missiles, okay? so. This is meant to be a homing, a homing missile system, uh, including GPS guided surface to surface missiles, radar, radar guided surface to air missiles, long laser guided short range, uh, all kinds of different things. Now they said they are going to be actually releasing the actual missile launcher soon. This is just the radar vehicle itself, uh, meant to obviously detect and go in position where you want to shoot the, radar, the, shoot the missiles to. Um, now features of the radar vehicle itself, it has a full automatic clutch and gearbox system uh, it has a folding radar and stand advanced interface uh, full interior all kinds of different seats with dials and screens and all these kind of cool things um, so really interested to see this and start it up here in the game and see how and spawning in the next one you can see this thing looks awesome with that antenna at the back there um, besides that it seems like we have some spotlights and a winch at the front here with a sensor and a camera um, some guards here for the tracks. Um, guessing those are the supports for the side. I did see some pictures of those. Uh, we have some electric engines there just for decor. Uh, seems like a door to go in somewhere. Okay, let's see what that is. So it seems like a door. Uh, let's go and get in here with some seats uh, with some lights and a monitor. Okay, cool. So this looks like a front monitor. We have a map a push button okay so you can change between this or the it looks like entry st en engine stats uh and we have the main screen here for the radar itself okay let's go out of this uh let's close that off cool design I like how that looks there at the back uh not much else going on, on the sides so let's actually get up on top and let's see what we have seems like we have a front hatch and a rear hatch uh along with that some fans here at the back and of course the radar let's go and get into the driver's seat and see what we have inside here so we have interior lights exterior lights uh fold expand okay so that's the side supports uh zoom in zoom out monitors oh wow okay so that's the front monitor there and night vision zoom in zoom out oh wow okay so you can actually zoom in and out from that camera that's pretty cool okay uh engine let's get going here so speed pretty good everything else seems fine okay that's that's going quite well actually uh let's turn it oh well wow, that's handling really well actually that is really good in hard driving. It's quick, it's nimble, it's precise. I'm sure it's going to cream these rocks here once we go over it. Oh, if I didn't just damage it. Okay, ignore that. I didn't do anything. It wasn't my fault. Uh, let's go and extend that and let's go out. Um, let's see if we can get out of here. Okay, and let's go into the radar operator. Um, seems like we have fold expand. Okay, so that's to get our radar up. Cool. Uh, interior lights, we have monitors. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have... I don't know what this does. Something to do with signals and stuff. We have a tracking mode and a target coordinates. Enter in some coordinates. Oh, okay, so it's gone and positioned it there. And you can... Okay, you can actually increase while wow. precise things there. Launch, arm missiles, tracking mode. And... Oh, different monitor there, that's for our radar that's busy rotating around and detecting things in the island. Don't know what it detected there. Detected something else. Maybe that's me. I don't know. Um, okay, and we seem to have like a razor. Oh, so this is for laser guided, I'm guessing. Uh, I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, because look there, you can go and move this around and point your laser. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing else on there. Let's go back to one. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, once they release their missile uh, vehicle for this, because then actually we can use this. Uh, I, as far as I know, this doesn't work with any other ones. Um, so it will be interesting 
oh, I can't get out of here either. Uh, it will be interesting to see that when they release it. I love this radar and things. It's going to be so awesome to see this vehicle um, with the missiles next to it and actually start using it to launch against things. Uh, that's going to be absolutely amazing. But yeah, really cool creation. Ignore the damage. That was my fault. Um, but yeah, nice creation. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Karkakovachanka 2, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Soviet Arctic Explorer Advanced. This is done by uh, I am Kat Seriously. Now, hopefully I got that right because he has commented in one of the previous videos that I've been pronouncing it wrong, and he's been a couple of the episodes. Um, now, this is pretty cool. Uh, pretty much what it is, is it's going to be a vehicle that was sent to the iron and it's the proved version of the first one he's ever done uh, now in terms of features he hasn't really listed too much on there um, in terms of what he has but it seems like it's pretty much going to be a mobile explorer slash home uh, it has tracks on it it has the full interior also I'm guessing it probably has a couple cool um, lure things on the side there too so let's go ahead spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks and spawning in the next creation of the episode, you can see this truck uh, looks really cool. Um, traditional cab here in the front uh, with obviously the tracks for winter modes. And we all have this huge cabin here at the back. Uh, now moving along, it seems like we just have just the front here with some lights and a whole bunch of paint blocks, which looks really cool. Uh, another spotlight here at the front and on the sides, uh, we have the main cab. We seem to have like the crew area at the back here or living compartments, a tow hook at the back and nothing else except for obviously refueling at the side and that's pretty much about it. Let's go ahead and get into the actual front cab here. Um, so we have the seat to get in, we have auto handbrake, disabled tank steering, tank steering handbrake speed, battery fuel, heater, handbrake, instrument lights, interior lights, navigation lights, fog lights, headlights and running lights. Okay, so plenty of lights going along and on there. We have searchlight left and right. Okay, so that controls that little spot search light here in the front. That's pretty cool. That's nice to see. Uh, ignition. Nice, easy. Let's go ahead and engage it. Nice and easy. No clutch, no gearbox. Just driving. Seems to be handling really well. Turning really nice. Let's just see what this disabled tank steering does. Okay, so it just becomes less nimble. Okay. Cool enough, still really drives really well. Uh, let's turn that off. Actually, let's cut the engine and let's put the handbrake on. Uh, and let's see what else we have. Seem to have a hatch here to go somewhere. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so we've got the crew compartment in here. Oh, very nice. Let's go and close that hatch. Uh, time to have a cup of tea, I guess so. Uh, two beds, we have a medical bed, a uh, little window there, of course, quite nice. Uh, heater, quite useful in the Arctic. Uh, what else? We have a radio with a microphone, okay, and a frequency. We have, look, seems like TT's terminal, communication terminal with channels and stuff. Cool. Um, kitchen going around there with some more detailing. I'm guessing it's the hatch to get in and out. Yes, it is. Uh, interior lights seem to have some more equipment and a, oh, a little generator here. That's quite nice. Let's go into the lights on. A little generator to make electricity. Um, a little hatch there, and then we have a little bathroom. Okay, very cool. So pretty much got everything you need. You got the bathroom, you got your generator, so you can always have um, power, which is pretty good. Uh, we have a kitchen with all working instruments, which is really nice to see. Uh, we have the communication stuff, so we can communicate to our friends, we can go exploring the Arctic, we can sleep, we can obviously revive people, and then we don't even have to get cold when we want to get into our main compartment to go driving around. So yeah, really cool creation, really nice to see. I can see this being very popular when used on the Arctic, especially for Arctic missions. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation of the episode. On to the next creation of the episode, we have the giant multipurposes VTOL airship. This is done by Logs, now you know him for his previous airships or creations that he's done already on the top five. Now this is meant to be a huge multi-purpose uh, VTOL airship with long range capacities. Um, it's 35 meters long, has eight jet engines with there. It can lift huge amounts of weight. It has a quite a big startup, quite a big startup procedure along with it uh, and a ton of features, including interactive maps, uh, equipment, there's medical beds, refueling, there's normal beds, there's radar, there's 
all kinds of there's rockets in there there's oh, there's absolutely everything and this thing looks absolutely massive so let's go ahead and spawn this in and see how it works and spawning in the next creation you can see this thing is absolutely massive i think this might be one of his largest creations i could be wrong though um but yeah going around the side seems like we have spotlights we have the landing gear we have paint blocks we have all these engines going along the sides more paint blocks and it seems like we have a staircase to get in and out from um so let's go and see if we can get in there i don't know if, if you can actually open any of this stuff here i could be wrong um let's go and get up okay let's close the stairs there it seems like we have some type of winch and things to open a hatch there's no power to it though um equipment obviously just parachute uh let's see what else we have so we have lights on great we have a door to go somewhere um lights door where does this go oh, a little taller than there very cool very nice um just some more equipment stuff a heater and I'm guessing shower the lag is quite bad on this guys um, so probably best to spawn it away from the dock area. Uh, we have another door here also. It seems like another ladder, yeah, another winch and things. Cool. Uh, let's go and close that off. Um, seems like some lockers on the sides. Another door um, with some more lockers. And then we seem to have more equipment. And then a, guessing an elevator of some sort. Let's go and see. Okay, uh, unlock and down. Okay, yeah, so that's an elevator that just goes down. Okay, that's pretty cool. And that goes down to the ground as far as you can see there. Let's go and lock that up. Uh, what else do we have? Water in this compartment is zero. Okay. Uh, nothing else, nothing to get down. Let's carry on. Let's go up to the next level. So, moving to the next level here, uh, we have some parachutes, we have some medical beds, and some regular beds. Um, guessing a hatch to go up to the roof. Yes, indeed. Hatch to go up to the roof, uh, well, to the top of the vehicle itself. Let's go and close that. Um, some more lockers, another door. What's in here? A heater. Uh, some more lockers. Okay, and some just some beds and stuff and some detailing. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, let's go and close that off. What else do we have? So moving along, uh, we checked that out already. Okay, so we have the same time for that bridge. Um, just some more detailing. Some Wharton's compartment again. Uh, wow. Well, okay. Okay, so we have all the control stations here. Let's have a look at this. Um, so, throttle, do not touch. RPS, do not touch. Um, emergency power, no. Right door, okay. Hatch, no. Power up, yes, we want power up. Uh, we have rear hatch, no. Lock rear hatch, yes. Engine power, yes. Equipment power, yes. And mute alarms, no. Okay, so it's like we have a GPS map of some sort. Uh, engine controls and stuff that's pretty cool and then it says main battery good hull integrity good and fuel good okay uh, well again okay, we've got all these engines it seems like we have cutoffs for the fuel okay a lot of screens going on there uh, moving along we seem to have the main driving seat I think let's go and jump in that okay so that's pretty cool that comes up to us uh, let's see what the controls we have so we have roll throttle your rockets afterburners landing gear seat left seat right and fire rocket uh, let's go and bring the seat left oh that's cool look oh that's nice and let's bring it to the front okay cool uh, we have our map screen again to go around we have altitude hold autopilot floodlights let's turn those on Oh, that's pretty cool tons of lights that looks really awesome it's probably look better when it's alive and up uh altitude hold let's try the autopilot we'll test that in a couple minutes okay altitude let's go to 100 uh landing gear is good engines on why not okay it seems like engines are starting let's test these rockets out arm rocket battery oh wow hello rockets here at the front that looks cool what else we have? Um, controls, top screen. Oh. You can just change that to what you want. Just cameras around the place. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know why it's pressed. Uh, a few pump no. Top screen. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, in, out, connector, fuel, cargo winches, uh, navigation lights, landing, laser lights. Don't need those. Deploy ground anchors. No. 
navigation lights. Um, afterburn is no. RPS seems like it's good. Landing gear down. Okay, well, we'll we still need it down. Um, I guess we just have to wait. Let's see these rockets. So, um, we have these rockets. Seems like we have, what, eight or nine of them? Uh, laser guided. Yep, you can see there. Let's go and test those out. So, six is to fire them. Oh, there we go. There's our rocket. Oh, hello. There's our engines going. Great. Let's go and get our rocket off again. So, rockets are working well quite well. They look to be extremely accurate, too, until they hit the rock, of course. Um, yeah, look really cool. Let's go and activate our altitude hold. Turn that on. All systems good. Seems like our engines are still turning on. Um, wait a couple seconds more and see if we can get out. I know on, this, on his workshop page he said they take a while for these engines to turn over and get going. Uh, I'm not too sure why, to be honest, because there's so many of them and so much fuel and stuff. Um, okay, I guess we we'll, uh, just have to wait. Wait a couple of minutes. Um, I guess, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, okay, well, I'll cut from here, guys, and I'll meet you back when we eventually get back up and get running with this, I guess. Okay, so a few minutes have gone by and we're still waiting for this thing to turn up. Um, it's still increasing RPS, but just hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, so we're going to stop there. Uh, I'm sure this thing flies really well, just like his other VTOLs that he has in game. Uh, however, we don't have the time to muck around and wait for this. Um, so yeah, really cool creation. Love the design. Uh, really looks cool. Really love this interior here. I was just going to turn this engine off. Um, Okay, really love the design of the seat here and how it looks, including that little bar there, that's really nice. Uh, tons of monitors and things. Uh, just be sure guys, there is a bit of lag, so make sure you spawn this away from the dock area. And yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the MSV Post. This is a ship done by content creator called Virtus. Now, this is meant to be a multi-purpose vessel, um, obviously loosely based, as he says, on the UK boy's tender, Patricia. Um, now, quite a few different features and the description on the work page is absolutely huge. Um, now, apparently this is meant to be quite a fast ship up to 32 knots along with that he's gone and actually filled the description out on the work page to be about three or four pages long this thing is ages long this thing is absolutely massive it's got a full interior there's a huge startup procedure for the engines that we need to follow including like fuel pressure valves uh, fuel pumps there's bilge pumps there's generators compressors all kinds of different things in here so it might take us a bit to get going but let's go ahead spawn in it and see how it works here in the world of Storm. And spotting in the next creation, you can see this thing looks 
absolutely awesome. It does seem to be rocking a bit, um, but I love the color scheme with this orange and blue. Uh, the design looks really cool going around there. Don't know, can't really see much else from the side of it. Seems like something's buzzing inside there. Uh, we have a helicopter pad at the back. Seems like some crew quarters and things. We have the mast, um, front deck. Pretty much everything we need. Let's go and get on the deck here and see else what else we have. So ignore all this for now. Let's go up to the main and we'll work our way back and then inside. Uh, it's going to the front here. Oh, love the design here. Tons of detail. Seems like we have what is this for? Uh, top connector, bottom connector, and fluid connector. So it seems like some kind of fluid stuff going around there. Uh, we also have a crane control okay so that's control crane that's quite nice uh we also have a hatch okay lovely what is in the hatch though um okay so we go down it seems like we have anchor room of some sort yep anchor room with some electricity and stuff uh we have just a front area it's cool uh, what else do we have? More front area and then we seem to have, okay, so that's the deck that we were just went from. Uh, we have another hatch, I don't know where this goes to be honest. Uh, wow, okay, it's just like a layer after layer. So we have a hot water boiler, okay, what else do we have down here? We seems to have two door, another door, uh, toilet, okay, we don't need to go in there. Uh, it seems like we have our cargo room. Oh, that looks awesome though. Uh, lights, okay. And what's in there? Crew quarters. Let's go check out the crew quarters. Uh, okay, some nice little crew quarters. Love the detailing on this. Uh, like he's gone and used the. <laughs> he's gone and used that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go and close this door and let's go into the cargo area. Okay, and let's get the lights on. Let's turn these lights off. Love the design here of this little cargo area. Um, don't know if it opens though. Yes, it looks like it does because you can see it's got hatches there at the top. Uh, don't know what's inside there. Uh, seems like some area. I'm sure we'll get to it later on. Okay, let's go back up the front here. Okay, it seems like we have some like hooks and mags and things. And auxiliary pump okay, don't know. Oh, okay that's just to drain out water if there is any in here seems to have a little buzzer going on I don't know what that little buzzer is doing uh, let's go and close that door turn those lights off okay we've been in there we've been in there uh, we've been there what's down here so let's open this hatch up and uh, let's see what we've got in here uh, oh, this keeps on going down and down okay so it seems like we have let's get the lights on Build tramp we don't need. What else? Uh, fresh water generator, why not? Uh, fresh water tank quantity. Okay. Um, don't know what that did. Seems like we just have our tanks and things down here. Oh, that's pretty cool. And keel maintenance hatch. Okay, so it's like our, just our tanks and things. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? Fresh water valve, salt water pump, why not? Don't know if we're meant to be pressing these buttons, but I know there's a huge startup procedure for this thing. Uh, we'll obviously might need to double check that. Uh, okay, so that's what this front area all done and finished with. Uh, let's go and close that hatch. Let's go up to the next section. Uh, we checked all this out already. Let's close that hatch. Let's go up to the top where we started and let's carry on moving our way along. Uh, already, I'm really impressed by the amount of detail that this thing has. Uh, what else do we have there? Gantry lights. Oh, nice. Okay, let's turn this off. Um, we're not going to check out the crane. What do we have down here? So we have cables for charging. We have cables for fuel or fire. Uh, cargo hold wow okay that's tons of things there hatch deck those are the cargo holds we even have a little rib with an artboard motor on it that we can go and drive around with awesome let's go and check out what else we have going along here so we'll check out the outside first and we'll make our way inside into the interior seems like we have some engine rooms emergency hatches uh, we also have 
keep having to go somewhere. I'm guessing this is to go down to the engine room. No, this is for refueling. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, we have a huge winch here at the back. And cargo hatch again. Crane here at the back. Very useful. Uh, diving equipment, diving equipment. Cool, we have a boarding stairs. Oh, that looks cool. Ah, oh, look at that. That's cool. Nice little boarding stairs to get in and out from. Nice. Let's go into the mess hall here. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, lag is quite a bit, but look, guys, the amount of detail on the ship, you would expect the lag to be here. Uh, lights, let's get those on. So we got a little mess hall in here. Seems like a kitchen, a fridge. Okay. Uh, full stove. Looks like it's all working. Of course it is. Um, really, really nice ship. We've got a toilet. Yeah, okay. Gonna close that door. Okay, what else do we have? Some detailing. We have a storage. Some more lights. Okay, it's so just a little storage room. Okay, let's go and close that off. Uh, moving along, we have chief engineer's quarters. Okay, we don't need to check that out. We have, looks like some more quarters, state room. Okay, let's go down and see what else we have down here. Uh, so, we have auxiliary pump. We don't need that. Um, lights are all good. Firefighter equipment we don't need. We have sick bay in there that looks quite big uh what else do we have going along here so key button don't know where that goes to uh okay so some yeah some crew quarters in there very nice uh we have some more looks like crew quarters yep we have okay cargo hatch where we were earlier on some more crew quarters the medical room in there that's nice nice medical room uh Trying to build pumps just on. We have the toilets and we have the engine room. Let's go in the engine room. Let's check this out. Wow, okay. Um, to start the engines, first turn on two fuel pumps. The controls are located right in front of the two engine blocks. Okay, um, let's go and do that. I'm gonna ignore all these two things. Um, and let's go down and just turn on these fuel pumps. So, uh, coolant pump, coolant pump, uh, what else do we have? We have waste bypass, maintenance hatch, new fuel valves are on, okay. Um, fuel pump, fuel pump, no, main fuel, yes, okay. Let's go back up to the top, uh, engine room, we were in there earlier, bilge pump, which we don't need. This thing is massive and looks absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see if we can get back up and let's see what else we have going along. So, um, we did that. Two, um, go to the aft section of the engine room and turn on the generator. Ensure that its fuel valve bottom left is open. Okay. Uh, generator down here. Make sure its fuel valve is on. Generator on. Make sure it's fuel valve is on. Maybe. Okay, let's open that up. Seems like it doesn't have fuel. Okay, so it doesn't have fuel. Um, where did it say it's fuel valve is? Ah. Fuel cut off off. I think that's it. Um, let's get the lights on in here. And let's go and try that again. There we go. Okay, so generator's on. Okay, so sneaky hiding those things running around there. Uh, what else do we have? So, something was there. Okay, now let's ignore that. Uh, let's go back. So, we have... Next thing is turn on the compressor located opposite to the generator. Wait 14 to 15 seconds. Okay. So, compressor... No. No. Okay, so I guess on that side. Um... Instant touch, no compressor. Wait 14 or 15 seconds. Pressure's going up. There's a 5, it's going to be good. 
Maybe not. I don't know, I'm gonna leave that on. Don't know if I need to do anything else. Let's just leave that on for now. Let's go and double check what we're doing. I don't know what those things are. Um, okay, so presses good luck and wait 15 seconds. Uh, open the starter valves on of one engine and leave it open until the engine start up to repeat for two. Starter valve, okay. Uh, where are the starter valves? Okay, to stop engine. No. Build, uh, no. Starter valves. Don't ask me where those are. Uh, starter valves, there you go. Okay, so open up. Wait for it to turn on. Guessing. Guessing it's on. Turn the second one on. Okay, let's go up to the top and let's see what else is going on. Maybe I did something wrong there. Um, open and start, leave the engine until, the, and leave it open until the engine start. Ah, uh, repeat. Okay, so I guess we need to turn it off once it's done. So let's turn it off now. on that one's not okay okay I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that one air yeah, pressure seems good okay let's go back up to the top and let's see maybe we did something um okay turn ahead to the Ah, okay, there we go. Um, turn on the coolant pump so I can get on the off side of the engine blocks. Okay. Uh, coolant. I think I did the coolant already. Yeah, I did the coolant. Okay, so we don't need to do that now. Okay, this is taking a while to get going, guys. Uh, let's go and... I think one engine's not going, to be honest. Um, turn off the compressor and generator. To operate the cranes, no. Enable the central heating, no, okay. What is that? Reserve tank, no, okay. Let's get that. Engine's good. That one's good, okay. So these ones need to be turned on. Is it this one? Yeah, I think that's it. for that give it a couple of minutes it should be good uh and then that should be good we should be able to turn our, our engines yeah engines all seem like they're on uh he said turn off the compressor and turn off the generator i think yeah okay so that we should be good now let's go and head up now and let's see what else we have cool engines on awesome love the detail here we do like a full role play in this thing easily okay let's go up to the next level and see what we have so it seems like we have the main bridge okay we'll ignore this for now let's see what we have at the back first so um radar okay why not uh we have radar screen oh that's pretty cool that's nice actually uh turn it off and out we have engines, seems like we have our flooding system over there, okay, we also have a main, okay, we have chart table, that's pretty cool, so you can actually chart your, your course, very cool, uh, some temperature stuff, a lot of lights, uh, lights, 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 bridge lights, let's get those on. 
Uh, we have turn left, turn right with a compass. We have helm, bow thruster, bow thruster, stern thruster, throttle, gear shift up and down, uh, backlights, okay, small keypad, don't think it does anything, time, knots, keel, ship's horn, that's it. Throttle lever, shift up, gear one, should be moving. I can hear it going. Oh wow. That is awesome. And you can see the design underneath the water here looks absolutely great. So it's listing a bit. I think that's because we're hitting the wall there. Let's go and get into gear two. Should be moving a little quicker now. 18 knots, gear three. 21 knots, gear four. Uh, 26 gear 4 okay 4 gears and this thing is motoring actually this thing is doing really well okay we damaged the front section I think that was because of the dock uh, but this thing is going absolutely amazing let's see how it handles when we start turning it yeah it's turning really well and you can kind of get an idea of the back section of this deck here um, it seems like we have a room at the back that I missed we'll go and check that out now uh, yeah that's pretty much about it love this thing lists quite a bit but yeah really cool though uh let's go and open this door up uh, and let's see what else we have on the outside so we have the chief operators quarters okay and seems like refilling and charging station for a helicopter oh he does have a helicopter included with this uh which is pretty cool and the captain's quarters very good so yeah really lovely creation guys absolutely amazed by the detail on this thing i might have missed a few things to be honest um but absolutely incredible i love this and yeah and that's pretty much about it so i think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and found some entertaining and informative as always we'll see you in the next one